Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode 3 of Project Ozone 2 Reloaded. Today we're going to go over how to make steel right away, how to get uranium right away. We're also going to get into some making some power and uh, some do some auto sieving as well. So, uh, let's show you what I did in between episodes. One, uh, remember I'd done the torches. See those black torches out there just sort of willy-nilly everywhere? Well, I started replacing them with ones that were all lined up on what I call as being on the fives. See, uh, let's bring up a journey map. There we go. So, see we're at 1100 minus 215. We come over here, and we're at 1100 minus 205. Um, actually, they're each 5 off, so this is 1100 minus 200. So the X and Z coordinates always end in a 0 or a 5. That's what I call putting them on the 5s. And so they all line up nicely, like that. Okay, I also did a little bit of you know some trees I made some string and stuff I also uh, used some shears made some leaves turned that into dirt it's going into a barrel and out again and I set myself up a smeltery actually let's show you the thing in action so we'll grab four of those Now notice I'm going to take the uh, ore sand and I'm going to put it straight into the smeltery. I'm not going to hammer it down as an extra step. I think that's foolish with iron, especially. the Actually, the only thing that I will hammer down like that is gold. Actually, if you're going to do what I'm doing right now, you might want to also consider nickel just in the beginning. You'll see why in a sec. The... Uh, the other thing you have to hammer down is draconian, but you've got to do that. You have no choice. Okay, so the way this thing was set up, I set up the first level, then I put a whole bunch of uh, cobblestone in there to make more seared brick and uh, built it up higher. I've got some uh, clocks over the faucets with levers on them to turn them on and off. Notice how this is pouring out all the way around one after the other and instantly going into this chest over here. So the way that works is I've got one clock here with a red net cable on it and I had to hit it with the wrench to put it into forced mode and then I had to hit, hit each of these with a wrench to put them into forced mode and so that one clock is controlling all of these. I've got a separate one here if I want to do one-offs of something I this was connected I wrenched it off just so I didn't have any surprises and um, I put some aluminum brass in here put a faucet on it and a table down here this is how I make all my casts I don't have to keep putting it into the uh, smeltery itself this is a separate one just for a base in case I need it Okay, that sort of covers the basics off. Let's get down to... Oh, and if you're wondering about those weird pieces of stone up there, that's just I've got a roof over my head as I go to fight uh, Endermen. I was short Ender Pearls. Speaking of which, just before this episode, so I haven't done... haven't got anything I'm off of the yet. I got another nine of these things. So I put them down here and just planted them because I need ender pearls. Okay, so we talked about uh, getting uranium. Now normally you'd have to go down into the nether, uh, deep in the nether, and it's fairly rare. You'd be searching for a while to find the stuff. Well, I read a tip on uh, Reddit uh, from Xavion, and he suggested using a forge lexicon. Uh, just to get started on this, we're going to need one piece of eulorium. We'll put it over here. We'll cook up the eulorium. Notice that's got mini coal, so that's for the one-offs. This one had I put stacks in here, and it uses regular chunks of coal. Okay. 
Um, so the forged lexicon. This thing here. We're going to need diamonds. We don't have any diamonds in here yet. Let's move our diamonds over. And forge lexicon. There we go. Now to use this thing, we go into options, into controls, and by default it's the V, but make sure it's not interfering with anything else. So it's the COFH keys empower item, right? So we want to hold it in our hand. See, it's that we're holding it. And we hit the V key. Now it says empowered. So we click on it now. We take our Eulorium. We put it there. We press this to Uranium. And we press up here to change it to that. That's Uranium. And then we press this to change our Eulorium to Uranium. Boom. Done we have uranium. Why do we want uranium? Well, this is why. We go for bomb. Nuclear bomb. Oops, I should have done it in here. There we go. Oh, I'm going to need gunpowder. Nuclear bomb. There, we've got ourselves a nuclear bomb. We come out here. And we'll take out our Eulorium that was under there. And we'll put in that. Now notice that we've now got 150 melting speed. 150 times. So if we change it back and put in our Eulorium block we're back to 50 times melting speed. Now the reason I changed it back is I don't need the extra melting speed right now. And I'm a little nervous about having a nuclear bomb in my base. Uh, one that if I accidentally give it a red stone signal, it's going to blow up my base. So we'll hold off on that for just now. I need a couple of things out of here. I need some of that, some of that. Okay. Now, actually, I didn't need those yet. Um, next thing we're going to talk about is the steel. Okay. So, to make. S actually, let me show you why I want the steel. Okay. These things, they put out 126 RF per tick. And that was the best I could do without any machines to manufacture a power source. So to make these, I need steel. So to make steel, we all, we all know that you can uh, melt chain in the smeltery. Whoops. And chain pants are the best. It gives you two for the least cost. But now it needs leather. And I don't have any animals yet. I've got no leather. Can we make these any other way? Well, what's this? Woven cotton. What's that from? String. Okay. I have lots of string. Remember I said I'd be making string? Okay. We'll put the string in here. We'll put it around like that. And that gives us four of those. We'll take iron. We'll make some bars. And then we'll put these like that. And make ourselves some chain leggings. We'll run over here. We'll stick our chain leggings in. And we'll melt them down for two each. I've already done that some, so we've got some steel. Okay. So next up on our for our power, we're gonna have to make these things. So we need to make copper wire. 
So there's a stack of them, and we're going to need another 16 because we need 80 of those things. Eight going around, and we're making 10 of these. Okay. We got 10 of those. Now we want these plates, and that's just a hammer with that. Okay, so we'll take a hammer and we got 50 Constantine plates. Oh, to make the Constantine, that's nickel and copper in a smeltery in even quantities. That's why I said I ran out of nickel doing it, so I had to sift some more. Okay, and that should be it. There we go. Now we're going to need some other stuff. I'm going to need some buckets. I'm going to need... Uh, what else do we want here? Buckets. Um, leadstone, power, item conduits, that. I'm not going to have enough flux duct. Let's make a little more flux duct. That's... I forget how to make that. Actually... Okay. 40, that should be enough, I think. Anything else I need? I'm going to want, I'm afraid it's going to rain while I'm out there. I want some of this, but I want more of it. Have I got more glass? Yeah, I do. Let's make uh, some more of these. Uh, where's my saw? That's the thickened glass. So you start out with sandy glass and make thickened glass. Whoops. There we go. 30, that's more than enough. Okay. Uh, let's put away some of the stuff I don't need right now. Okay. Uh, oh, that's something else I made. I made myself some shiny throwing knives. So I used uh, platinum uh, and made it in for the knife blade and just a wooden handle they do six attack plus six attack damage so I one shot things with it that's what I was killing killing stuff with okay um, I'm gonna need I made one of these an infinite water source from magnetic craft they fill uh, barrels beside them um, on that come out here. Where am I going to stick this power supply? Probably starting right about here. Put one down there. And then one there, 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 there. Yeah, that looks right. I should have done this in advance. Give me a sec just to get rid of some snow. Doesn't take too long, but... down our thing for water here, our barrel there, we'll get a bucket of that and a bucket of that. So we'll put the water up front here, we'll put lava on the other side, we'll put lava over here, 
water over here. Whoops. So the water is going to go there. Lava is going to go there. Actually, let's just do the, all the water first, then we'll go around and do the lava. I'll get less confused that way. I hope. Notice how the bombs are nicely staying out there. They're not coming in to get me. Whoops. I forgot to put down the other one. Oh, I hope you can go in there. Oh! Oh, well, now I'm stuck with a bucket of lava. Uh, how am I going to get rid of that? Oh, well about it later. Okay, uh, power. here I guess no I don't like that and running off the front over here and I'll run it down Should be doing that with this to be faster. There we go. Okay, so we've now got our power set up. Let's make our sieves. Oh, I know what else I want to make the sieves. I've got three electrum gears I pre made. Okay. Oh, before we do this, let's take a look in here. Okay. I was avoiding this one because I didn't want to use up the gold, but I've got enough gold now. I did more sieving. So we'll put that there. That there. And that finishes off that one. So, uh, iron chest. Uh, that is all basics, doesn't matter which one we pick. Um, mob farm. So, I killed some stuff uh, off screen. And mob farm is. Uh, one of them's good, so close your eyes if you don't want to know which one. You can open them again. And tinkering with metals. Again, close your eyes if you don't want, want to know which is the good one. You can open them again. Okay, so we have two goods and a basic. Let's try the basic first. All right. Can't do much better than that for a basic. Oop. Yes, you can. Rotten heart. Don't eat that sucker. Whew, glad I looked. Almost clicked on it. Elevators. They're useful. Meteorite compass. Eh, that could have come in handy. Um... Oh. 
Oh, and I got a rent one of these wrenches. I already made one of those. Doesn't seem to matter. You can use either one. Okay. Um, sieve. So we're gonna need some invar ingots or nuggets. I mean. So we'll make nine of those. We want three sieves. Oh. The other thing we're going to need is silk mesh string. Actually, that's too many for three. Whoops, that wasn't enough. I blew it. I'm usually so good at that. All right. Three of those. And we want... I got some hammers from Quest. I got them twice, three each time. They are pretty easy to make. They're mostly iron. Okay. And we'll come out here to put down this stuff. And then where's my wrench? I do not want these to join. Okay. And then a hammer on each one of those. Then on two of these, I'll put another one in place. Um, I'm going to need uh, something to stand on. Oh, I should put it over one further. Oh well. And up one more. Whoops. That can come out. All right. Oh, I know what I have. Uh, power. Okay, we will put I wish I was using the um The what you call it? The uh, Ender IO uh, cables. It looks so much prettier. Everybody got power? Yep. Okay. We need these things. These are the hardened servos. They use Invar instead. They're a little faster, and they're still cheap enough. Don't involve gold or anything. So far, so good. Okay, now, so these guys all have power. Yep. Actually, that, that power was overkill for what I built so far, but I'm going to put more machines in later. Um, what was the other thing I need? Uh, oh, right. Um, I do not trust you. There we go. For fear that when I break this, I would end up with uh, it in the lava. Wasn't a problem anyways.
now they are going to go uh, actually let's put in our item decks first oh I know what I'm gonna need I am going to need either transport pipe or Well, that looks pretty ugly the way I did that. Was there a better way to do that? Yeah, let's get rid of you and put it there instead. And then we will break this connection here and that connection there oh, I know what we need we need a drawer or something something to put the uh, cobble into uh, do we need a drawer? yeah let's use a drawer um, gonna need some chests first Okay, so if I put my drawer right here, and we need to turn that connection off. Yeah, I want to facing it this way, I think. And we'll put... Do I have cobble on me? Yeah, I do. Cobble right there. You right there. I guess we'll put the lava that we have in the bucket there and we'll need water I should have brought the water from uh, down below okay and uh, let's not confuse it let's only use one of these there we go. Okay, does this look like it's all set up correctly? Those are each getting fed. Yeah, it looks good to me. Um, okay, I guess we can open this up and stick that in and we have some extra cobble to get it started now something else that I should have done right away and I haven't done yet is these panels I don't want rain getting on these thing on the lava I'm not sure that it oh, come on I'm not sure that it can but I just don't trust it. I'm afraid that uh, getting rain on this would uh, turn it into obsidian. Don't have to worry about the ones with the uh, um, cable over it the rain can't get through that well, even if you never see it raining it can still rain in this pack it, the cl it just gets dark in the sky monsters come out but uh, you don't actually see the rain okay there we go they're all covered up so are we sieving stuff over here? Yes we are. 
Uh, not this one yet. Oh, but it just started. Oh, the reason we're not over here yet is I missed one. There we go. And I'll have to put some chests leading off uh, the front of these to put the stuff into. But now we're saving dust, sand. That's almost getting full. Okay. Um, well, I guess that covers it for this episode. Hope you found something useful. We went over how to get steel, how to get uranium, a few other odds and ends. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.